you know, excuses really don't mm. change much. And it doesn't help the person you are even inclined to, to deliver an excuse to. So you really just have to understand where you're at and you have to figure out what is the most solution oriented action I can take right now. Mm. Because the the other just makes people more nervous, makes them less confident that yeah. we're going to manifest the end result that we wish to, that we're aspiring toward, you know? So my job is to bring that comfort as much as it is to create the music and to conduct a process that engages everybody. Yeah. Because in other words, think I can't expect everyone to speak in musical terms to me. That's why oftentimes in meetings at the very onset, if I'm meeting with the producers and a director and studio execs, if they come to my studio and we're having a conversation, I'll be like, hang on a second. And then I'll start playing some music just off the cuff, mm -hmm. you know, guitar, guitar, viol, piano, whatever. So that everyone now has been heard in that moment. Mm -hmm. And from there, move, moving forward from then, we have a dialogue. And so then people feel less um, uncomfortable trying to engage in the mm -hmm. process of talking about what they're hoping music can do for the movie or what their objectives are, what they like. And, you know, so I'm trying to distill it. And sometimes, you know, I mean, I've, you know, there, there are big movies, some of which you mentioned um, in the introduction, <laughs> where the music review process can become a little sterile, right? It's not happening in my studio. It's happening at a studio headquarters or whatever. And at some point, because it's such an intense frenetic process, I'll sense that it's time to have a live music moment. So I've brought equipment in without anyone even knowing. And if the meeting goes pretty well, then I'll be like, okay, that section of the movie that we've been avoiding because it hasn't really come together yet. I'm just going to play live right now. And let's just see if we can find the point of what music will serve in that sequence. And maybe that'll help us, you know, kind of galvanize our mm -hmm. thoughts. You know, and I, and there's no doubt that's that that's inspiring if I don't screw it. <laughs> you know, I mean, it, it's always possible, and that's kind of a weird thing that uh, that I think myself and people like me also possess is we constantly put ourselves in really difficult situations, and it's like we hate to be there, but we want to see if we can handle it. <laughs> 